Hello, everybody. Today, <coughs> oh, stream is having problem. Dropped frames. Uh, that, that's fine. Hopefully that doesn't keep happening. Uh, today I'm going to play a very normal, uh, completely unmodified copy of uh, Pikmin 2. Uh, it's just gonna be good. Uh, I haven't ever tried out this completely unmodified copy of Pikmin 2 before. I'm excited to see what it has in store for us, but uh, I bet it's just gonna be Pikmin 2. Come on, st uh, Streamlabs. There we go. <laughs> Some unfamiliar logos on Buddha. That's probably fine. Probably should turn this down a little bit. Okay. Has the stream performance settled? Okay, yeah, it looks like it's looks like it's fine now. Probably couldn't even tell earlier that it was off because it was just that, that frames were being dropped because it was just a still image. I I worked a lot Monday night and Tuesday trying to. Uh, I talked about this a little bit on on Monday, but I uh, I did try again to get to get. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's a demo mode. Never mind. get that out of here. <laughs> Uh, the toggle screen punished me for sticking around too long. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I tried again a little bit more in the past few days. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about that. Hang on. Uh, uh, Just, uh... How do I do that thing it was telling me to do? Um... I don't think there's a properties. Uh... I really should have, um, hang on just a second, hang on. I, I really should have, uh, read whatever, um, I really should have booted up the game to test it before now, uh, to make sure that, I, 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 I was trying to go in without knowing too much, but I should have booted it up to make sure there wasn't anything like that, uh, telling me to do a specific thing. Let's try this again. Why stream dropping frames? Do I have something happening in the background? Has Windows Update or decided that I can't stream today? Uh, no, it looks like everything's fine. Uh, yeah, everything should be good. We'll just keep, keep moving. Sorry if the stream gets a little crunchy. Uh, yeah, let's try launching that again. Let's see what exactly that it tells me to do. We get to uh, hear that that good Pikmin boot up noise again, so that's that's good. Check speed up disk transfer rate in properties game config. There's no properties menu in in Dolphin. <laughs> uh, I guess options config. Uh.
Maybe it's fine. Maybe we ignore it? Maybe it's fine? No, that's probably a bad idea. Uh... Oh, I wish that- I wish that screen stuck around for longer, because I've already forgotten what it was telling me to... Uh... check. Uh, this is probably a bad idea, but you know what? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna proceed. Assuming that it is completely fine. Still getting those notifications about dropped frames. Hope that goes away. Uh... Come on, Streamlabs. Detect game? Detect game, please? There we go. Uh... Yeah, okay. Wow. This, this completely unmodified cop, uh, copy of Pikmin 2 is already giving us trouble. <laughs> the, uh, the animation in this game is different than I remember. <laughs> this cutscene is really loud. That's fine. Oh, that was very loud. Uh, but the double, double the, we need more, uh, treasure to pay off debt this time. <laughs> L Louis was in the corner looking like the Joker over there. <laughs> this is good. This is excellent. Get in the ship, Olimar. I don't understand why you're having such a hard time, Olimar. I'm sorry that this cutscene is so loud. Hold on. There we go. That's probably better. Wistful Wild. Good job, Olimar. You call that complete disaster piloting? Where did you learn to fly? Thanks to your flying skills, Olimar fell out of his cockpit. Who knows where he landed? Olimar was a much better pilot. He's never crash-landed. Uh, I hate to break it to you, ship. But, um... This region seems rather familiar. Have we explored here before? No, surely not. Oh, they're attacking a little man over there. Are those yellow Pikmin? You know, we sure do have good luck with them being so close by. Louis, I'm sure you know to use your whistle so they join your side. What? Don't play games with me, Louis. You saw these same Pikmin on your last visit. I promise nothing bad will happen if you whistle them, okay? I don't trust you. Now, it's been a while since I've played... The, uh, the GameCube version of this game. Uh... Woo! 
Is that humor-esque of a little dog in the Pikmin 2 sound font? I think, um... I think that might be humor-esque of a little dog in the Pikmin 2 sound font. See, I told you nothing bad would happen. Now you can use them to fight and do other menial work. You know, this is the first visit where we found yellow Pikmin before red Pikmin. I wonder where the red ones could be. I also wonder where the red ones could be. Get away from that little grape... That little grape gentleman. So unfortunately, this is a, um, this is a GameCube, uh, ROM hack, so, uh, what, what now? Ship, the ship won't let me speak. <laughs> Captain Louie, I just managed to reconnect to Olimar. He seems to be doing all right. Why do I have to call you Captain anyway? I miss back when Olimar was the captain. You fooled the president, but you, you aren't fooling me. If only he would listen to me. Why is he capitalized? Is the president like your god? Uh, anyway. This is a, this is a GameCube ROM, so... I, I, I would have liked to be able to play it on like a Wii one, but... So that I could just point and click with my mouse. But this is fine too. Where are they going? Oh, we haven't... I, I'm, I'm assuming we haven't unlocked the way to their ship yet. Uh... Out, street... Streamlabs OBS is still telling me that I'm dropping frames like like crazy. I hope that's not too bad. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna press through it. Um. Okay, so I guess we need to. Uh. Guess we need to do something else first. Anyway, I think I'll be fine with the GameCube controls. Uh. Since I just played a lot of Pikmin 3 on the Switch, and you can't really use a pointer in that version either. 70. I do not have nearly enough Pikmin to, uh, to defeat the Mighty Bag. Is this one also 70? No, that's 20. What the hell is that? Well, let's not worry about that. Um... Are these Nectar Rocks? Yeah. Get, get a little drink. Have a little sip. Unless these rocks have no nectar in them. Oh, there we go. Drink off my soldiers. I thought it sent them straight to flower. The Pikmin that drank that yellow nectar have matured. Hold on, shouldn't it have become a flower, Pikmin? This one is only a bud. Could the effects of nectar be weaker than usual? Very peculiar. Okay, fine. Oh, that one drank too and became his flower. I guess I'll let them destroy the rest then, in case there's more. Nope. Alright. Oh man, there were two blobs of nectar and two of you didn't get any? Huh. Where can I go? I'm glad that there's no timer yet. As I reacquaint myself with this new land... There's a, uh, there's, there's danger over there. Okay, um, what haven't I tried to do yet? Uh, I thought I saw, like, one of those seesaw type platforms around here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Nope, that, there we go. I guess that doesn't really help me, though, if I don't know where the other one is. Am I just stuck? <laughs> am I- am I dumb? Am I missing something? Can I- Oh, there's a button to switch captains, isn't there? What- what button was that? Uh... I don't remember what that button was. Was it select? Well, I've pressed every button. Uh... Huh. Well, 
This is unfortunate. Um... Is there a tutorial menu in Pikmin 2? Oh, there is. Uh, oh, change leader. Yeah, let's see what Olimar's up to. Olimar, are you alright? Falling so far like that couldn't have felt good. Well, at least that conveniently placed paper bag broke your fall. Speaking of paper bags, there's a big one blocking you off from getting to us. You'll have to crush it with Pikmin so we can reunite. Okay, cool. Oh! Olimar's got... Olimar's got the, uh... The yellow onion over here. I can't believe I didn't see that. You stay away. You get out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna defeat this spider with my bare fists. It's going to be great. Captain Olimar is unmatched in combat. What type of spider is that? I don't recognize this. <laughs> you stay away. You can't defeat me with dust clouds. <laughs> now I'm extra glad that there isn't a timer. Because punching enemies to death in Pikmin is not a good strategy. And yet... There we go. Alright, let's just throw these little guys across. Olimar's whistle doesn't seem to function. Um. That's no good. Is it quieter too? It just makes a different sound. Uh. Can I, can I throw them across directly so he can just run through them while they're idling? No, it doesn't really quite send them where the pointer is. That's... not good. Uh... Hang on a second. Hi, welcome back. I cancelled the stream just a few moments ago, cause, cause I thought that the game was broken. Uh, but it turns out, uh, I'm just dumb, and the game works completely fine actually. So we're gonna keep playing. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's just try this again. Apparently, um, apparently this is, this is like, v uh, vanilla behavior as well. If you're doing, if you're doing like, day one, and, uh, Olimar and Louie are separated, they just can't call each other's Pikmin. And that, that's, that's apparently behavior that's in the vanilla game as well. I, I hopped into the Discord for this, uh, ROM hacks community or whatever, and, uh, talked to some people, and they helped me out. Apparently, uh, the game was not broken, and I just was not very smart. Uh... Yeah, so as soon as as soon as Olimar and Louie are reunited, uh, everything works again. So let's just get back to where we were. Won't take us very long. Just skip through this dialogue. And then everything will be fine. I don't know about the problem of the dropped frames. Uh, hopefully that won't stick around. Um... Yes, yes. Let's call these friends off. Oh, I almost... I almost got chomped on that time. I do like how short, uh... The, the little bulborbs field of distance view is. It seems they're not very... They're not very perceptive. Oh, hang on a second. I forgot to... Let me get my chat overlay back up for me. So that I can see. Okay. 
How's the game volume looking? Oh yeah, that's probably fine. Where that is now. Um, some of these, some of the sound effects, some of the mixing in this game, some songs and sound effects are louder than others, but we'll deal with it. That's, that's fine. Okay. See, now, we switch back over to Olimar, and, uh, rather than, um, rather than taking Louis Pikmin, which we apparently just can't do, uh, all I had to do was walk up this ramp and, uh, start a cutscene, and the, uh, the onion will spit out a new seed for us. Olimar, it's the yellow onion. I sure hope it gives you a Pikmin seed like usual. Any second now. Okay, it did. Well, that's a relief. Wait, Olimar, what are you doing with your eyes? I thought that was Louie's thing. Well, it looks wrong when you do it, so please stop. Anyway, pluck that sprout and move on. Yeah, Olimar, uh, that's kind of fucked up. You gotta stop doing that, buddy. <laughs> it's making everybody afraid. And now I have yellow Pikmin. Or, Olimar has Pikmin as well. That's literally all I had to do. I, I, I was way too hasty canceling this stream and assuming everything was broken when all I had to do was walk up a ramp. I have learned my lesson now though. And and the show can go on. Olimar. The Pikmin carried a pellet to the eye. Uh, it's all tabbed by accident. <laughs> it's going really well. It sprouted a seed. What's that, Olimar? So what you've been here? So what if you've been here twice already? This is very important info. And now we get to hear uh, Gerudo Valley in in Pikmin 2 sound font. So that's neat. I think, uh, in the future, if I run into another problem, I'm going to try a little harder to figure it out instead of just immediately canceling the stream. I assumed it was going to be another, like, reader rabbit situation where the game was just completely broken and there was no way I was going to be able to fix it. That didn't seem to do any damage to me at all. Grow so I can pluck you from the earth. Alright, let's take on this spider. Punching too slow. Oh no. These guys, you have to land the Pikmin right on top of them, huh? Yeah, there we go. That didn't seem to harm them at all, just knocked them over. I guess this is a gust type spider. It just, it just pushes you around, it doesn't deal any damage. I was thinking about, uh, once, once I figured this out, that, uh, that, that nothing was actually broken, I was considering just, like, waiting until next time to stream, but then I was sitting in my chair not knowing to do with my, what to do with myself, so I was like, eh, let's, let's just bring the stream back anyway. Hope it's not too confusing for anybody. Damn it. Alright. So with this we should, uh, we should have enough Pikmin to crush the bag. And, uh, then, then we can be reunited and the leaders can call each other's Pikmin again. Cause see, I, I thought that Olimar's whistle wasn't working at all. It wasn't that, it's just that uh, Louis couldn't Olimar couldn't call Louis Pikmin, and Louis can't call Olimar's Pikmin. 
It's just a weird thing that happens. And, and is apparently in the vanilla game as well. Oh, which Mario jingle is that? Is that N64 Star Get? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> this is gonna be like the Majora's Mask randomizer, where I just hear music that I recognize and I'm not always able to identify it and it drives me insane. Olimar, Captain Louie, you are reunited at last. This has been a troublesome start to our trip. You know, all this feels rather familiar. Didn't we have to reunite the same way last visit? Regardless, let's see what we can do now that we are all together again. Is that a fucking pinecone? Oh, this is the pinecone fanfare. Hold on, this looks like one of the items we collected on our last journey here. So, what the president said is true. After all the treasures we scavenged here last time, now we have to collect even more of them? Well, we have a lot of work to do then, don't we? We better get moving with our collecting. I could see. I should probably press the zoom button. 25! The pinecone is too strong for us. My children. At least now we can get this, uh, this little bulborb over there. I forget if the small ones are bulborbs or bulbears. Okay, what else can we have you guys do while we wait? Break these rocks. Do I have to watch the Nectar cutscene again? Probably. The Nectar actually looks, in addition to being like less powerful in this, uh, the Nectar looks a little less vibrant to me, but could be wrong. <laughs> the Nectar in this world, the effects of climate change have caused the Nectar to be less sweet and full of fewer nutrients. Oh, only one Nectar this time. That's my punishment for uh, being not very smart. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the VOD of this one. Probably going to have to download both parts from Twitch and stitch them together for YouTube. So that's gonna be fun. Alright. Now we have enough for Pinecone. Bestow unto me the cone of pine, please. I would like to have a pinecone. I would like to slather it in peanut butter and give it a give it a good munch. You ever take a bite out of a pine cone? That's good shit. It's taken him a second, huh? The, uh, the busy music is uh, quite a bit louder than all the other versions of the track. I'm gonna turn the game volume down just a little bit more. There we go. Balancing audio for stream is hard. Also, I don't have like any any extra fancy software installed to uh, help me with that. I'm gonna turn down my headphones just a little bit. That doesn't affect what the audience hears, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Pinecone get. Name of Grain Grenade. Grain Grenade? A pinecone is not a grain. Sure enough, this is indeed the exact same conifer spire that we collected last time. 
Although it is the same item from last time, I have decided that to I have decided that to give it a new name. There's no end to my treasure naming skills. Okay. Well, I mean, it seems like maybe there was an end to your treasure naming skills, because this one is a misnomer, but I guess that's not new. Well, there's a lot of things in Pikmin 2 that are like, I'm gonna name this not what it is, because it's funny. About time we head off now. Yeah? Are we gonna call it a day? I crushed the bag and picked up a pine cone. That's about the amount of work I can handle in real life in a day as well. They're kind of walking on, um, they're kind of floating in the air. That's okay. I'm glad it put the Pikmin away for me. Oh, this is a good, um... This is a good remix of the end of the day theme. No Pikmin die. Would have been embarrassing if I managed to get some Pikmin killed day one. I see you found one of the treasures you had collected last journey. Well done. Perhaps we really could somehow collect 20,000 Pokos. Good luck, Captain Louie. Choice of music, uh, Pikmin 251 developer. Okay. Bit of a rough start, but now we're in business. Now we're playing, now we're playing game. Now we're cooking with Pikmin. Maybe we can get some nectar for more, for more of our friends. Can we get one more, please? There we go. Oh, many, many nectars. Nectar for everyone. Flowers for all. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, I think this one I needed like 70 or something crazy to get up to. And that's kind of the only... Oh, there's flowers over here now. I should probably be checking the... Uh, Man, it is really, it is really tricky to aim without a pointer. And Pikmin 3 solved that problem by, like, giving you a lock-on, but this isn't gonna have that. I, what I was saying, though, is I'm probably, I, I should check around to see if there's anything else that's changed now that it's day two. This looks the same. Looks like there's a big old five pellet over there we can grab. Did I not throw five over there? Come on, you guys. Did I lose one? No, I guess I just didn't throw five. I could have sworn I heard five little good pigment noises. Oh! Oh, never mind. It's just grubs. We can handle grubs. We're gonna defeat these grubs and not a single one of our of our little guys are gonna die. That's my promise. <laughs> no Pikmin will die. That's uh that's a mistake, I'm not gonna say that. Pikmin will definitely die. I don't know if I've ever seen like a no-death run of Pikmin. I'm sure people have done it, but. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's not gonna be possible. Especially in, like, Pikmin 2. Like, the moment I get into the cave that has that spider with a Gatling gun mounted on it, I am screwed. Come on, you guys. Faster. Faster. 
Anyway, Pikmin is one of my favorite games. Or is one of my favorite games. And I was excited to see that Pikmin 2 has like... I was gonna say it has like an extensive modding community, but as far as I could tell, all of the Pikmin 2 ROM hacks were made by the same person. So, you know. Uh, huge thanks to that person. Uh, Pick Hacker... Pick Hacker... Oh, they've got like numbers after the name that I don't remember them and now I feel bad. Anyway. I, I thank you to modders everywhere for allowing me to play video games in fun new ways. There's some games that I probably wouldn't play ever again without mods. Like, I love Skyrim, but I'm not playing vanilla Skyrim ever again, probably. Man, do I even have enough, um... Do I even have enough... Oh, wait. How much do I need to crush this one? 40. Okay, we're good. I was gonna say, am I even going to have enough resources around to get 75 Pikmin to crush that other bag? But apparently we're not meant to crush that other bag just yet. Gotta... Gotta go the other way first. Ugh. I wanna... I want to give nutrients to my to my good gentleman. Oh, I can throw the green or the leaf ones first. If I throw them up there, will they run to the nectar? No. Good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw them all up there and then use my epic gamer skills to guide as many of them as I can into the nectar. There we go. Still got a few leaves in there. That's okay. I promise I'll find sustenance for the rest of you eventually. Some of them falling off. I see we've got a new type of frog over here. Oh, does it see us already? Uh, what if we just build this bridge in peace? What if you just- oh god, no. Come on, you guys, get out of there. Alright, spade him over here. Sick of- eat shit, fuck you. Uh-oh. Did I seriously not lose any there? Nice. Okay. Let's... How many do you need over here? Seven? Eight? Okay. Let's put eight over there, and the rest of you can build this bridge. What's this? That sure looks like it's probably something. Is there any more danger over here? Just that other guy over there. Can I... Can I split these guys up? Uh... There we go. Now Louie... can go back to the onion with these guys. No Lamar can stay over there. I, uh... <laughs> the... the th that keeps throwing me off. The little... the little, uh, time jingle noise sounds almost exactly like my new follower noise on Twitch. Uh, and that's not what that sound effect is. My new follower noise is like the, um, it's like the Monster Hunter, uh, Ready Bell sound. It's a very similar noise. I like that, uh, in this game, you can, um, I, I like that in Pikmin 2 you've got, you know, the two leaders, so you can split everybody up. Uh, and get and multitask easier, but I was always disappointed that uh, Pikmin 2's campaign is not multiplayer. There are mods to make it multiplayer now, but it seemed like a waste uh, to me, a person who loves co-op games and Pikmin, that uh, you can't play multiplayer in the campaign. And it was even even bigger disappointment to me when Pikmin 3 came out on the Wii U. Uh, when it was like, now you have three leaders, you still can't play multiplayer. And then in the Switch version, they uh, added multiplayer. And now that's very cool. Um, I don't know how I feel about having three leaders, though. 
I feel like I never really uh, was in three places at once. Being in two places at once is enough for me. Still amazes me just how strong the Pikmin are. Yup. Did I need a cutscene for t taking down this wall? Why can't you two be such dedicated workers? You could really learn a thing or two. Yeah, I need to learn how to be more exploitable. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of this right now. I'm pretty sure I can change my controller bindings on the fly. I'm doing the same thing I was doing in Wind Waker, where I just um uh. I just keep swapping which button I want to press. Uh, so let's make X, Y, and Y, X. And uh, that'll be that. And hopefully, uh, hopefully I never forget a control again. I'm probably still going to struggle with the controls. I'm, uh, I'm a bear of very little brain. Okay. What's on the other side of this wall? Oh. We've got a, uh, a twig situation, uh, surrounded in poison. That's a poisonous bundle of sticks. You gotta stay away from the- oh no. This looks different too. Are you poisonous? Oh, I hate these things. Enemies that kite you in video games are the fucking worst. This guy looks like, uh, like some kind of delicious fruit. Come on, everybody. Get him! Oh, there it goes. I was gonna say, don't those guys usually drop stuff? What's this? Is this a treasure? Oh, they just have to finish digging it up. Okay, let's see how Louie's doing. Oh, Louie's got a ton of Pikmin over here that we can use. I do miss the, uh... Pikmin 3 has, like, a go here feature, and you can tell your leaders to walk somewhere while you're not controlling them. It's very helpful. Oh, the little leaf guys are so slow. Feels good to be in the swing of things now, though, instead of being confined to a very small space. Can't wait till we find our, uh, our first cave. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he'll be fine. Emergency, this Pikmin is going to die if you don't get that whistle moving. I think I already whistled it before the cutscene started. Oh no, there's still one more. Oh no. Don't swallow that! Don't you dare swallow that! I think we saved him. Oh! We do have a cave. Olimar, Captain Louie, the day is almost over. Don't worry, you know the drill. Just make sure you have all your Pikmin with you and don't leave any behind. I took the liberty of telling you a bit earlier than I normally would. More warning never hurts. Okay. Uh... Uh... Let's dismiss everybody. I'm gonna have Olimar run back. I probably didn't need to dismiss everybody. Thing is, uh... Usually, you know, you only have a certain amount of time in the day to get things done, but, uh, you can just hop into a cave in Pigment 2, and, uh, everything will be cool. 
So I'm hoping that um, I can... Oh, the mushroom. I was gonna say, why is it stopping me? What happened? I'm hoping I can get everybody back over to the cave uh, before the day is over. Is this the... Is it using the Super Mario Sunshine font for the numbers here? I don't know why I didn't, um... I don't know why I didn't notice that sooner. But yeah, let's gather our forces and, uh... Dive into a hole. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been playing a lot of games that involve diving into holes lately. A lot of holes to dive into in Zelda games as well. like it's gonna be close. Come on, hurry up. I know I couldn't find enough nectar for you. I'm sorry, but please. It's this way. I'm just so scared of, like, going too fast and getting one of them stuck on something and leaving some people behind. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to get the, 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 the little enemy guys another time. Why, it's a cave, just like the ones we got to know all too well on our last journey. My sensors indicate that there hasn't been much activity down here in a long time. Well, if you're ready, we might as well jump in. I can't decide what voice to, to give this robot. I find myself uh, just kind of flip-flopping back and forth between robot voice and uh, normal reading voice. I should probably just pick one, huh? seems very dark and quiet. Well, you two know what to do. Grab those treasures and delve deeper. Isn't this Luigi's Mansion 3 music? When did this ROM hack come out? Or was this in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon as well? Either way, excellent choice. Most of the music in this seems to be from uh, other Nintendo games, whereas I didn't recognize a lot of the uh, music. Is there any way for me to get the... I can, okay. In case there's nectar in here, I want to throw the flower guys on it so that they don't, so that they don't drink the nectar when it pops out. There we go. I have found you more sustenance, my friends. Have a slurp, have a sip. Aw, oh, I didn't do that one very well. They consume it all at once. So like, if, if you only get one on there, one will drink the whole thing. Oh, there's the next floor already. Let's see what we have, what else we have up here though. I don't think this is a treasure. No, I can't pick that up. Can't have no mallet. That's a GameCube control stick. I broke many of those. Not really broke, but there are definitely like a lot of GameCube controllers lying around that I have that just have really worn down pads on the control sticks. Was the stick part of the GameCube control sticks really this short? Circular pedestal. Yeah, this, this could be like a little table for a hookitation. I don't think there's anything else in here, but doesn't it usually do... Oh yeah, there's there's another treasure. I was gonna say, doesn't it usually do a little sound cue when you've cleared everything? I should probably just be... Uh, we lost one.
gonna say, at this point I should probably just be, um, swarming my Pikmin instead of trying to land them on top of the... Because if you land them on top of these guys, it kills them in one hit, but I have enough Pikmin now that I can just be swarming and, uh, not taking the chance. Because I am no good at aiming. It's a miracle I managed to, uh, kill that spider that only takes damage if you land a Pikmin on top of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Just these two things, and then I think we're good on this floor. If I throw a Pikmin at the marimba, does it make a noise? Also, that's not a marimba. This is like a child's toy. I forgot what they're called. But, like, those kids' toys, they have, like, a, um... Oh, jeez, I just got so many pigments stuck. Uh... You've probably seen these before. Like, like a kid's toy that looks like a marimba, but it's small, and usually the keys are all different colors. Orb of Mystery. There it is. There's the level clear sound cue. Got everybody? Yeah. Actually, I, 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 if I remember correctly, it's not possible to leave Pikmin behind um, when you're in a cave. Like, as long as they're still alive, they'll still follow you to the next floor. I'm not sure about that, though, and I'm not going to be taking any chances. Final floor. Oh, these ones look different. Hang on a second. You wearing lipstick? Do these ones have lipstick? Okay. Maybe not. Maybe they just have red noses. Does kind of look like lipstick, though. That's fine. Just make me feel a little, a little weird about killing them. Anything that's intelligent enough to put on makeup, surely I shouldn't be murdering. Louis, you don't. What do you think you're doing by bringing beasts to me? Haven't I been bringing beasts to you this whole time? You know these aren't of any use. Well, now that I think about it, we really need every Poco we can get, don't we? Perhaps doing this isn't too bad of an idea after all. I don't know what the hell is happening over there, but I'm afraid. Oh? This is new. Louie, what are those candy pop buds? They seem to have an orange color. Recent data patterns obtained from past observations suggest we may get an orange Pikmin. Orange Pikmin? Who knows? Let's take a look at what we get from it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the orange Pikmin is capable of dealing with whatever the hell is happening here. What is that radiation? Is that hell? Is that hell obstacle? Is this a... No, that's not a treasure. It just looks like one. I don't remember there being any casino-themed caves in Pikmin 2. This might be all, all ROM hack. A lot of work went into this. Okay, I can only put in five. But let's see, let's see what the orange Pikmin look like. Um... What? What is up with these guys? Do they have, like, little... little backpacks or something? Can I get in closer? Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> is that... is that a hazard suit? Are these Gordon Freeman type Pikmin? No, they look more like, um... 
Uh, oh, what is it? The, um... They look like a... Why can't I switch to the orange Pikmin? Oh, that's what these transparent ones are. They just don't have a symbol. That's fine. They look like, um... They look like box elder bugs. These little beetles I sometimes get around my house. Is that the SS Dolphin's whimsical radar? Oh, I would love to have the radar this early in the game. These pipes are fine, firing blasts of energy that could kill a Pikmin on contact. If only there was Pikmin that could stand. Explosive blasts like these withstand? I ain't gonna hold it against them, but feels like maybe, uh... This rum hack could have used this spell checker. But, you know, spelling hard. It said these pipes, is that what these are supposed to be? I guess so. Like, these have always been... These, these little orange cylinders have always been in the game. I never really knew what they were supposed to be. Maybe wires? Wires that leak poison normally? We got the radar. Great job using those new orange Pikmin to help get this radar back. Let's see what it has. Great! Just like that, a new region to explore has opened up. We should visit it tomorrow. I will call this radar the positioning system. I can come up with names forever. Okay, chill. This this robot is really... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I should let you know while we're here that while these orange Pikmin are great, there won't be space to hold them in the ship, sadly. Perhaps it is best that they stay within the caves we find them in. Okay. So they get to stay here. That's fine. But I was gonna say, this robot is a little too proud of uh, its ability to name things. Not quite on the level of the mirror character from fucking Reader Rabbit Second Grade, who was always just laughing up and exclaiming, Oh, I'm funny, I'm so funny! Astounding! Oh wait, I forgot, these are nothing new. I just try to forget about these after our last journey, as being near them ruins my paint. You two never realized how hard it is for me to navigate these cramped ca Dude, you're a drone! You can fly, you can go anywhere. Oh. We lost one Pikmin. Rip. 07. Rest in peace. I think it's been a pretty productive day, though. Where's it gonna put us out? Oh, right by the ship. I was gonna say, maybe we'll have time to, uh... Oh, unless it makes us leave. We did it, boys. That wasn't so bad now, was it? Well, I hope you had fun. This is only the start of our many spelunking journeys. Well, I'm sure that it won't get too bad later on, right? Right? Alright, since we got a nice new radar map, I'd say that we're done for today. Stop it! I wanna keep going! What's that? You still want to grow Pikmin and collect more treasures? Nonsense! Why would we waste valuable time on that? Come on, we're taking off now. This <laughs> why do why do Olimar and Louie walk on air but the Pikmin don't? Whatever. Like I said, I'm sure this wasn't an easy thing to make. I tried coding once, it was horrible. I'm too dumb. Coding is one of those things like uh playing guitar. Uh, the people who can do it are wizards, and I have the utmost respect for them. <laughs> yeah. 
so weird seems things are going well over there. I hope Olimar and the ship are being cooperative. I know they can both be a pain. Thanks for working with them anyway. God damn, Mr. President. Why you gotta be like that? more stuff for us to do here. Let's let's go back to Wistful Wild. Okay. Uh this is not a very you good use of my valuable time. But I already started, so I'm gonna see it through. Where did the onion land? Okay, it's over here. Normal onion spot. We just need to get 70. And then... Or no, 75. And then we can crush that bag and keep exploring. I think there were some other things for us to do... Um... In... Like the other area past where the cave was. I don't think we were done there quite yet. So, come on. Pick up the pellet... this? I'm gonna leave a Pikmin there. Or actually, I don't need to. It stays pressed down. I'm gonna go see if that raised the other platform. You know, in the one spot with the, the place. You know the one. Olimar, why are you helping me? Did I dismiss Olimar? I probably dismissed Olimar. Yeah. Come here, buddy. 74! Uh. We got one more pellet around here? Please? I don't think the big five ones grow back uh, instantly like the little ones do. Fine. Oh, wait. Here's one. I heard... I thought I heard bugs. Do we have... Do we have bugs around? Huh. I could have sworn I heard the sound of, like... I don't remember what enemy even makes that sound. Like a little ticking noise as they as they wriggle around. I think it was one of the grubs. Or maybe, like, the flying ones? pronounced it like that next door. <laughs> Apparently the whole mix-up uh, of like, streams cancelled, streams not cancelled, games broken, games not broken, that took a more of a toll on my feeble mind than I was expecting. I probably won't go for very much longer today. Oh, oh here we are. Oh no, it is just the grubs that make that sound. You know, this isn't the way that I said I was going to go. Like, I, okay, this does raise that other platform. That kind of sucks. <laughs> I've, I, I gotta say, I've never liked the, uh, the seesaw platforms. They just, uh, make you split your forces. So you have to... Oh, you know what? Maybe there wasn't anything else I could do over here on account of all that fire. Not a single Pikmin lost. These guys eat slowly, so even if they, like, pick up a Pikmin in their mouth, um, chances are, uh, 
if you if you kill them fast enough, you can get them. You can get your Pikmin back before they swallow. They can they can they can withstand being tasted a little bit. Okay, there's nothing else for me to do this way. It's bad crushing time. Of course, now I don't have enough Pikmin to do it, and I'm gonna have to wait until. Uh, Um, what was I saying? I have to wait until the others are back. I'm going to leave Olimar, uh, here. Or maybe I'll leave Louie here. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter who I leave here. Damn it. Is there not a way to throw the leader in this game? There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Olimar here and see if I can't see what's up that, uh, the seesaw platform. Because I think each leader weighs, like, two. And you need, um, to leave, like, three Pikmin behind. And I can just throw my team up here so that their weight doesn't count on the platform. Oh, there's a large, um... There's a very large foe at the top of this cliff. Okay, now... I can just throw these three up. Maybe they only counted as one. Oh, that was weird. What's happening over there? Oh, I see what's happening. It's like coming up into the Pikmin and no lo suddenly no longer having enough win. Okay. Uh... Get his eyes! Cut him in the eyes! Oh, this this was a bad idea. Oh, jeez. Oh, so much so much pigment death. Go. Oh. Okay, I think you want to get those. I think you want to get these guys from behind usually. Uh, buddy, drop soft pretzel. Or maybe that's a regular pretzel, and we're just small. I'll make it up to you guys. You can have the corpse. Uh, we'll just leave that pellet behind. It's a blue one. And the, the five pellets are weird. Like, with the one pellets, uh, you know, you get one. Um, if it's the same, if it's, you get one by default, or two if it's the same color as whatever onion you're giving it to. But I think the five ones, instead of doubling, will, like, give you three if it's not the same color, and five if it is? Or maybe I'm misremembering. What do we got here? A salted swirl? I could go for a salted swirl. Pretzels, uh, good. Damn, that took us half a day. Okay. Uh, maybe we can still crush that bag and, um, Maybe get down a cave before the day is over. All right, there's all my there's all my good gentlemen. Where's that other bag again? Over here. Here we go. I'm so disoriented by everything that's happening, I actually can't even tell whether this is what the regular Wistful Wild looks like, or if it's been, like, remixed, and it's just using the same assets. It also has been a bit since I played, uh, Pikmin 2 Vanilla. Do we have everybody? Nobody left behind? Uh, yeah, it looks like everybody's following us. Wait a second. Does this map look, work like, work like, um, oh god, it does. Uh, I, I hate when maps in games rotate, uh, as you rotate your camera. It just makes it so that I'll never, ever, ever be able to commit the layout of the map to memory. Wait a minute. Was this just a shortcut? 
Yeah, this is just the shortcut to the area we already did. Oh, I think there's genuinely nothing else for us to do in this area. I mean, I guess we can go back to where the... Or no, because I would have to use the sea sound platforms again. I was going to say we can go back to where the big the big beetle was, because there were like some berries up there, but... Maybe we're just done for the day. That's disappointing. I probably should have taken the game's intended path instead of trying to come back here for treasure. It wasn't a total waste. We did get pretzel. Let me just... Maybe I can at least get them started on berries. We don't really need that many. Uh... No, you all stay here. Oh, no, wait. I do need a couple of you. Okay, let's just go over here really quick. And, uh... Stand on this? Or no, we need Olimar to throw at least one gentleman up onto this thing. Then, uh, oh yeah, and then we want Olimar to step up. And, oh, do the leaders wait not count at all in this? Yeah, let's, let's get, let's get working on the berries. I don't think we can get up into this big old bamboo tube. Even though I was bad-mouthing this pellet, I'm gonna collect it anyway, because at this point, there's like nothing else I can do today. You got a berry. Are you going to drug your Pikmin with these? This appears to be an ultra-spicy berry. Yes, I remember these from our last journey. We can collect them for a spicy spray. Unfortunately, my onboard converters are not running at full capacity like last time. You will need to acquire 12 berries for a spray. I'm not sure I understand the point of, um... doing the... The, the change with the nectar and the change with the berries. It seems like... I don't know. I think resource scarcity is a lame way to increase difficulty. If that's even what the intention was. I forgot that Pikmin had dynamic music, like where it would change when you swapped between leaders. It looks like they didn't do the um, Pikmin 2 thing where Olimar's music is normal and Louis' music is like syncopated, but you know, that would have been a whole lot of work. Alright, uh... You know, I guess that's all we can do today. Is there still an end day early option? Yeah, go to sunset. stop for the day. Um, yeah, sorry for the short, short stream. And oh, So, is it true that there are more treasures than just the ones we got last time? That's great. Surely these new treasures are what we need in order to repay this massive debt. Yeah. Sorry for the short stream. Sorry for the rocky stream. Uh, but, you know, I guess I'm more worn out than I thought I was. 
Thanks for anybody who stuck with me. I'll see you next time. <laughs>